While the 48 victims that lost their lives at the Solai Dam tragedy have been laid to rest because of the disaster remains contentious. Six people, including the managers of the farm, Perry Kansagara and Vinoch Kumar, have since been charged with manslaughter. They were, however, released on cash bail of 2.5 million shillings each. Lay the following paper. The Senate Select Committee on the Solai tragedy has been working and now in its report recommends further investigations and prosecution of the owners and government officials accused of neglecting duty. They include Nakuru County Commissioner John Kanada, his deputy Justice Kavita and Solai Chief Charles Kiragu. They are accused of obstructing justice by taking part in illegal compensation of the victims' families and luring them to sign forms absolving the dam owner of liability. Others recommended for investigation and prosecution are Water Resources Authority CEO Mohamed Shurie alongside other government officers. The Senate Select Committee on the Solai Dam found that the killer dam was illegal, that it was built without any application or issuance of a permit, that the Water Resources Authority was complacent and failed in its duty in ensuring adherence with the law. But debate on the report could not take off courtesy of Baringo Senator Gideon Moy. Can we really proceed? with this matter in light that it is sub judice and in court. What is Senator Gideon Moy's interest? Is he a business partner of Mr. Patel? <laughs> Mr. Speaker, this is bordering on imputing improper motive on a colleague. And you know, in order to do that, you need to bring a substantial motion to the House. It will go down very badly for this House to be portrayed out there that through very whimsical reasons we are stifling debate on a matter that not just Kenyans but Kenyans of the lowest level of our society the Patel Coffee Estate, according to the report, owns six other dams named Tinderes, Pelican Water Pan, Moy Dam, Duck Dam, D.O. Dam, and Mini Moy Dam. This motion be given high priority tomorrow at 2.30 p.m. Should the report be endorsed by the House, then investigative agencies would be required to immediately commence investigation and charge persons adversely mentioned within as short time as one month. Sam Kitoko Citizen TV. Nairobi.